So real freedom would be in choosing what she wants to do outside of being compelled to. So if she's being forced to have long hair and stay in the home, then her most important need is to establish her freedom and sovereignty. And once that's been accomplished, then real freedom would be to be able to choose what she actually wants, even if it partially coincides with what the cult wanted. But coercion is only necessary when you don't trust people's natural instincts. Um, so yeah, that's a sad story. Stella gets this, you know, she like, she's like, she went to Vassar, you know, she's supposed to like do big things in the world. These are the expectations on her and her classmates look down on her for not having a fancy career. And, but what she really wants right now in this stage of her life is to be the best mom she can be to carry. And she recognizes that that will change as he grows up and she'll enter another stage of life. But right now she's fully embracing that role. And yeah, definitely having to go against some of the culture to do that, against the judgments that say that she's um, surrendering to the patriarchal suppression of women. But to say that it is suppression to, to devote yourself to motherhood, um, that in itself is an assumption of a, of a patriarchal value that calls that less and calls doing big things in the world of men more. Like who decides that value? Who decides that nurturing work is less important? Who made that decision? Who gets to choose that?